hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain you about the gm counter how to find out the operating voltage using gm counter uh, so first you should know what is gm counter gm counter is uh, used to detect uh, is called a particle detector or used to detect uh, the ionizing radiation so that was uh, introduced by Gregor Muller in the year 1928 so that's why the name has been given GM counter so first you should know uh, how to operate the GM counter okay this is on and off button and this is the knob used to set the voltage and these are the key used to store the data uh, for input uh, whatever the input you are going to provide so this is the first key program key which is used to set the data here uh, so preset time very necessary uh, how many seconds for how many seconds you want to note down the counts okay so you can uh, store from this key program key and these are the keys used to adjust the uh, numbers here so this is used to adjust digit uh, here it is you can see it is moving so if you want to keep it for 30 seconds you can otherwise for 40 how many seconds you want you can just use this key to store okay so here we are going to find out the operating voltage so just i will uh, here we require only uh, the variation of voltage so if you are uh, doing other uh, experiments on this gm counter then you can just set this paralysis time to required uh, time 30 second or 40 how many okay then next uh, you can see this is reading label iteration then and one more thing preset time that must be uh, uh, here paralysis time that must be off here okay that is preset time and this is paralysis time that must be off uh, you if you use this key you can have here 250 seconds 350 250 so off so four options are there so just you have to keep it here off after saving this data just uh, click on store next you can start taking the reading okay and one more thing here this is the source holder where we can they, they, these are the different slots where we can keep the source at different distances for example for doing the experiment inverse square law it is very helpful uh, so here this is the bismuth source okay i will keep this source here in this slot okay so here what i will do uh, click on start so we are, have to find out the operating voltage here so here what you have to do you have to vary the voltage at what voltage you are going to have the uh, readings or counts in the gm counter then you can note down that voltage slowly you have to increase So you can see they still we have reached to two, more than 200 voltage but we are not having here counts so still you have to increase further okay you can see gm counters uh, has started uh, readings at at what voltage around 
360 okay so for 360 how many everyone one more thing i want to inform you here uh, as you uh, increase the distance uh, of the source from the detector the readings uh, are going to change uh, readings are going to be affected by this distance so if you keep near count rate is very high and if you increase the distance count rate are going to reduce so distance is very important here so if uh, uh, already i have set the preset time 30 second so once i start as i said uh, the operate uh, uh, gm counter has started counts from uh, 360 volt so for around 390 how many volts for 390 volt how many counts you will get just note down here Okay, next what you have to do, again uh, you have to increase the voltage and take the uh, reading start, you can just click on the start button and note down the reading for so you can see it is increasing for 30 seconds for 400 volt how many counts you will get you should note down so it is 8426 so last time also you got around 8000 but little bit less uh, count rate so like this you have to increase uh, each time uh, 10 volt and measure the reading uh, note on the readings and uh, you can just take the readings up to 700 volt so that you can uh, find out the operating voltage after plotting the graph so like this uh, you have to repeat the same procedure you can see here uh, they have uh, also got the readings from 360 uh, so 360 to uh, up to three, uh, 690 volt they have taken the readings for 30 second each time how many counts they got for a particular voltage they have written here after uh, taking the readings you have to plot the graph of applied voltage versus number of counts so this is the nature of graph then once uh, if you plot the graph here this is the way how it looks like uh, and uh, here uh, this is called first plate view and this is the second plate view v1 and v2 and if you take the average of these voltages 390 plus 690 divided by 2 you will get the operating voltage of the gm counter okay so here uh, operating voltage is about 540 volt for this gm counter so any time if you want to do any further calculations or experiments on gm counter just you have to keep the operating voltage as 540 and then you can start taking readings i hope uh, this video is helpful for you if it is helpful please like share and subscribe my channel Thank you for watching.